Well, on Steve's Friday chat, was it a year ago almost? Maybe. Yeah, more than um, that. Uh, we reached out. Uh, the owner of uh, the building commented on Steve's chat and posted some contact information. And we reached out to him and just said, hey, we think you have a cool building. We'd like to talk. And we met with him uh, several times for many months, I think, and exchanged several contracts and uh, learned his story with the building and his family and uh, developed a rapport with him. And um, uh, at the end of the day, Came to an agreement. It was a challenge for him to sell this, wasn't it? I mean, he, there was some emotional. You know, I don't know how much of it was emotional, um, but probably a little bit. Um, you know, I think they'd owned it 30 something years. and But uh, also, he saw the growth coming west, and there was a big financial component to his decision, too. You know, does he hang on to it for a few more years and make more money, um, possibly mm -hmm. or possibly not? Um, I think. Uh, he went back and forth on what was the best thing to do for himself. Well, so we were, oh, go ahead. No, oh, so we were, we were starting to develop a track record, too, by purchasing some of these old, older properties in town with the Main Street Arcade and the Tower Theater. Townhouse. And the townhouse, and Sean knew of those purchases. So uh, we had already started to develop a reputation of taking on these challenging adaptive reuse projects. I think that helped as well. I think he thought we were the right people at the right time for them. No, those are underway pretty much. They are all under so, so the, the other thing that was interesting on this was that really helped us swallow the risk was the fact that the city had a Brownsville program where they will like allow you to go through that they'll they'll actually help with the phase one and the phase two to see what kind of contamination there is so Amanda Alewine at the city was we didn't know anything about the program when we started and she walked us through the whole thing and so we were able we, we by the time it came within you know 60 days to close we knew what kind of condition the building was in which eliminates a whole lot of risk that you so have. you didn't have to take on the full cost and risk of figuring out what kind of disaster you potentially faced correct the city helped right. on that. that's yeah. correct yeah. Yeah. absolutely and, and you know, we have a great team gardner architects is our architect and uh, lingo construction is our contractor of course uh you guys doing a lot of this Lingo is awesome. Uh, <laughs> so the, the building was the laundry uh, and cleaning facility for a number of decades and has been vacant essentially for the past 30 years. Um, we, our plans uh, are for it to be a, primarily a brewery with a tap room and then we'll have one restaurant bar space and some office space available as well. Joel Irby has been a friend of mine since the uh, 90s. He was actually one of my brother's best friends and uh, I worked for his father and my wife worked for his father and my dad worked for his father which is kind of hilarious but um, we accidentally ran into each other at a brewery in uh, Boulder and as we were talking I just told him how much we would love for him to bring his skill back to Oklahoma City and so what started as a joke five years or three three or four years of, of kind of going back out and seeing him he decided to come out and check check it out and so as we've been chasing buildings around the city that we thought would work well for a brewery uh, this one kind of landed through Ben and David's work and so we just reached out to him and uh, he felt like it was the right time for him to come back and uh, open up a brewery and tap room and so a lot of the laws that are changing in the state are actually allowing for people to think differently about what a brewery could be uh, a brewery it's really hard for them to survive without a tap room and so our hope is that as we have some legislation in the next 12 months that that will actually allow for a brewer to be able to sell the product that he's making in the same place. <laughs> Talk about uh, what kind of timeline we're looking at. Why don't we, we'll be starting, do we start? We're starting construction in 2016. Okay, starting 2016 you expect it to take about a year? Yes.